Hey guys, welcome to this new video. In this video here, we're going to do Q management system with Autolytics Yolvi 8 model. So we're both going to combine optic detection, optic tracking, and also optic counting together in this full system where we can then go in and do Q management. So we can specify different regions where we want to keep track of the Q. So depending on like how many people, persons, or like whatever object that we're detecting inside that region, then we can do management based on that. So first of all here, let's just jump straight into the Auto documentation. If you go inside the new solutions up here at the top, we can see all the different kind of like projects that we have, then you can use as a baseline. So you can basically just go in here, take the code, copy paste it inside your own applications and projects, do some fine tuning, extract the results, and maybe do some triggering. You can do optic counting in different regions and so on. Then you can track how long are people like, like staying in the queue. But if we go inside this new solutions tab, we have all different ones over here to the left. Optic counting, cropping, blurring, workouts monitoring. We have videos covering all of them. So definitely go check those out. If you go up down at the bottom, we then have this queue management system, also parking system. But here we're going to take a look at a queue management system. Could both be used for traffic analysis and also in airports, retail shops, at metro stations and so on, if you want to keep track and manage the queues in different locations. So here we can read about like the advantages of queue management, reduced waiting times. You can go in and calculate how long are people like, like waiting in the queue. When we're combining optic detection and also optic tracking, then we can keep track of each individual object over a number of frames. We can keep track of the time, the number of frames, and then by using that, we can do all different types of analytics on top of that. So here we can see some real world applications. I'm going to run these videos through in just a second where I'm going to show you how we can set up the code. Copy paste the example directly in here. You can always modify it, build your own system around it and apply the analytics on top of them. So yeah, we can use it for retail. We have the region here. We do optic counting inside these regions based off the track items or objects. And we also have it for logistics over here to the left with an airport. So this is the example that I'm going to run through in just a second, but we also have some arguments that we can set. You're going to read about them. Very easy description. So we have some line thickness for the regions. We can go and specify the region color, the region points, also the class names that we want to take into account for a queue management system. So that could be like cars for traffic analysis or people at an airport at a metro station and so on, which is a pretty cool use case. So definitely check that out, test it out. If you have some videos that you can throw through, definitely go in, check it out. Because again, you just have to take the code, throw the video through and do modifications to it. So here we can specify the tracker, the confidence score and so on. Basically just all the arguments to our track function. But let's now jump inside my code editor and see the code. I've just copy pasted it directly. Let's minimize the terminal. If we go all the way up here at the top, we just import OpenCV, import YOLO from Autolytics and also the solution. So inside the solution here, we have the queue management, parking management, optic counting, optic blurring, and so on. So definitely go in and use those. We create an instance of a model. You can use an arbitrary Autolytics model in here. Right now, we're just going with the YOLO 8 nano model. We specify the video files. So these are the two videos that we're going to throw through the system. So the first example is the airport. Here we have like check in queue. We just have a couple of people walking in this queue. So let's go in and take a look at it, specify the region and do queue management system on top of this. Another example here is at a metro station or some kind of gates where we have people walking through here. Could also be security checks at an airport. I think it looks like that. But again, it's a pretty good example of doing queue management. If you have a fixed camera, you can even divide it into different regions. So you can specify where should you go into and so on. Could also be for security at the airport. You guys are probably familiar with that. There can be some pretty long queues at the airport sometimes. So it is a very good system. And I've also seen airports out there where they actually like use some kind of system like that. I'm from Denmark and they use it in Copenhagen airport. So it basically just tells you in which queue to go into depending on like how many people are in each queue. So they're using some kind of queue management system on top of that. So right now we just specify the video writer. We save the results once we are processing it. Here we need to specify the region. So you need to go in and choose the points in your image. So these are the pixel coordinates. We have the X coordinate, Y coordinate, and then we need the four corners of a rectangle or our bounding box that we want to do the detections inside. So I just have these two regions here that I've found depending on which of the videos. We can just start with the checkpoint. So I'm just going to comment that one out, grab it here, copy paste it here. 
So now we can create a solutions and instance of our queue manager. We specify the class names. So here we're just going to detect all the classes in the Cocoa data set from the pre-trained model. Then we can specify our region, the line thickness of our region, our font size, and also the region color. Open up a video capture, we read in a frame, we throw it through the model with this track function. So it's going to do optic tracking. If you just want to do prediction, you can just call predict, but then we can like create this queue management system, but this is how easy it is to use with Ultralytics. So we have our track, we throw in the image, we can specify if we want to show the results while it's processing, persistent, verbose, and so on. And then we just hit Q dot process Q, we throw in the image and also the track the optics from our object detection model. Then we get the output here. It is basically just the results. We can do whatever we want to do with those results, apply our own analytics on top of it, different graphs, could be for triggering different systems as well. Then we're going to run our image. We can just process the whole video file and we're good to go. So let's just go in and open a new terminal here, run the program. I'm just inside my Anaconda prompt. Let's activate the environment. There we go. And now we can run the Python script, Q management. There we go. Right now we're starting with the checkpoint video. Let me just make sure of that. So that is actually like the airport. Let me just switch that around. So we have the checkpoint. There we go. We rerun it and now we should get the correct one with the correct bounding boxes as well. So right now we just have all these gates within our region and then we're counting all these objects entering inside this zone. So you could have individual regions for each of them. Right now we just count how many people act like standing in front of the gates. Again, the, this queue here is not really that bad compared to like some longer queues at security checks and so on or at the check in counters. So this is a pretty nice example. We're pretty much just detecting the persons walking around in the image frame. We do optic detection with the Yolo V8 nano model. We can choose an arbitrary ultralytics model. We do optic tracking and then we just basically just check how many tracks are within this region. And by doing that, we can get the queue counts. We can also draw the trajectories of the people walking around. Again, you can specify that as a parameter. So now the file is ended. Let's go in and check out the other one. So that is the airport. There we go. We have the queue management. So we also store the video file of the results. Now we not just need to grab the airport example. There we go, switch it out. And this is the only thing that we need to do. We can rerun it and then it's going to run on a separate or like a different video file. So here we can see we have the check-in counter at an airport. Here we have some people walking in the background. So sometimes we'll get more detection. We could probably narrow the region. We can also specify where we want to get the detection, but this is a pretty hard solution to work around with. You can also go in and do modifications to the code, go in and specify the size of the bounding boxes. So they need to be a specific size because they're closer to the camera, depending on your camera angle and so on. And also if you have a top view, that will also help significantly. So you basically just keep track of line with a camera on top of the person. So if you have a camera, from the top, you can actually like just create a very narrow region, do optic counting, do the counting, queue management on top of that. So there's tons of cool use cases out there. Pretty nice examples, so definitely test them out. Also, if you have some cool videos, if you have any questions, throw them down in the comment section. And I hope you have learned a lot from this video here. It's pretty cool. Check out the solutions from Autolytics. And then I'll just hope to see you guys in one of the upcoming videos. Until then, happy learning.